Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so very much for any of you who have posted questions or comments in past videos because today I'm actually going to be answering one by Mark Dalton. I really appreciate the question being, what's the difference between Fusion 360's personal license and SolidWorks's hobby license? Which is better? Why, why did you choose one or the other? So we're gonna do that today. So first off, what are they? They're both CAD programs, CAM programs that really help individuals with personal projects and hobby projects. Uh, that's something to understand from the get-go. This is not real. I neither of these are really great options for running a business or a company or anything like that. These are very much for the hobbyists. Uh, that being said, there is a little bit of a caveat with the the SolidWorks license, and I will talk about that a little later, which is actually really really cool. Um, where are they available? That's something that I also want to talk about because with Fusion 360, it is available everywhere. As far as I understand, there is no limitations. With the SolidWorks license, it's not quite the same, uh, unfortunately. And so actually, if we switch over to my screen, this is their page for it. And down in the Q&A near the bottom, they actually talk about where it is currently available. So question three, and here's the list of available countries. So if you want to pause and check it, there it is right there. Unfortunately, it's not available globally yet, though they are trying to get it to more countries. This is a big bummer for a lot of people. Uh, I'm currently in Norway, and a lot of my friends here can't take advantage of this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So that that is something that's pretty much uh, that's really annoying. Costs. What are the cost differences with Fusion 360? It is free, completely free. There's no no cost to use their personal license, and that that's something to keep in mind. SolidWorks is a hundred dollars a year, which is more, but for a hobby, that's really not that bad. And this is where the exception comes is in their description of the pricing uh, and who's eligible. It actually says right here that per our terms and conditions, you may sell items you make for a profit up to and not exceeding 2,000 USD dollars a year. That is huge. For me, that is just awesome. Like you don't see hobbyist, uh, like programs for hobbyists that straight up say, we want you to be making money or you can make money off of it. Now, $2,000 a year, that you can't run a business off of that, and that's that's for sure. But for a $100 program, it easily pays for it if you have um, an e-store, or let's say you make stuff in your shop, in your garage, and you wanna sell it at an art show or anything, you have that ability, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, and that's something that I really like about the differences between, or one of the things that offered with SolidWorks. Modeling. I'm not going to talk much about modeling and comparing the two because I have many videos that already do that. If you'd like to see them, uh, I will try either putting little like tags here or have the videos suggest at the end of this video. Um, but I do have a number of video comparing the two. They're very comparable in a lot of ways, and there are some differences as well. Uh, rendering. From what I could see and what I could find, I searched high and low. There is no rendering package included with SolidWorks's license. Uh, which is a bummer. Uh, they they oftentimes will package one or between one or two either visualize or 3D um, 360 visualize it three. What are they? Photo view 360 and visualize. Those are from my experience typical rendering packages that either are built in or come with uh, the program when you purchase it. Again, that's just my experience. It may be different for for other people. Um, so yeah, there's no rendering package with the SolidWorks, which is a real bummer. Um, and I, I really do wish that they did have that. For me, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, Fusion 360 has the same rendering package that it has when if you buy or have a business license or a student license, which is really great because Fusion 360 has a pretty powerful rendering program for being free and cheap if you're paying for the license currently. Um, saved files, file format. This is something I do want to note because with Fusion 360's, um, package they do have limitations on what kind of files you can export so on their website you can actually see on the left side your personal hobby use uh, and if you go scroll down they say 11 export files and they have these different file formats right here there are a few that are not there that I commonly use which is kind of a bummer DXF for example is one that I use a lot um, but again it's a free program SolidWorks as far as I've seen it's the same as, as in as SolidWorks. It, it, it has all of the file formats and everything. That is really, really good, especially if you have a little bit more of a unique program that you use that uses different files, or you need to be exporting them for various reasons for lots of different projects. Uh, 
So SolidWorks definitely did a better job there. Uh, and that is kind of a bummer with Fusion 360. How these programs work, how do you access them? Uh, because it's a little different, and this is something that was a little confusing for me at first when I was looking into SolidWorks, their, their hobby license. And so let me just actually run through getting to SolidWorks uh, for you. And so we're gonna go to screen capture. So first you need to go to your 3D experience. All right, so after you fail to log in multiple times and reset your password for the bajillionth time, uh, and you're finally able to get into the program, into the website, so this is what you have. You've got your user 3D experience dashboard. So we'll click up here on the top, and right there we have extension for SolidWorks Professional and we'll click on it here. So this is how you have to access SolidWorks, at least for the first time. At some point you are able to download a shortcut, but you have to do so through here. You don't get a license like through a third party sell reseller. Um, I've not done that yet, I still need to do that. So then it boots up just like any other SolidWorks. Fusion 360, it's just like any Fusion 360. You open it up, it boots, it's there. It's a program that's downloaded to your computer. Whereas with SolidWorks, it is not a program downloaded to your computer. It's not a license downloaded to your computer. It is online exclusively. So keep that in mind. Internet can cause problems for you if you don't have it. Whereas with Sol Fusion 360, if you don't have internet, it just gives you a warning saying, hey, you're offline, which means that you can't back up these files onto your online account, but you're still able to save them to your desktop, which is nice. All right, so next topic we've got is monetizing. I've already talked a little bit about that, but with SolidWorks, you are able to make up to $2,000 a year. I still think that's really, really cool. Uh, they haven't clarified on how they're planning on tracking that. I think that's something at some point they probably will uh, and fine tune and refine that statement, but I think it's a great offer for right now. Um, as for Fusion 360, these is, this is specifically a personal license. You're not allowed to monetize in any way, shape, or form with this license. It's not intended for that purpose, um, and yeah, it's not it's not allowed with that license. Um, other notes that I wanted to just make on the side, uh, some things also that I think are really important is <clears throat> the other things that come with SolidWorks. Uh, the 3D experience SolidWorks because it's not just SolidWorks. So we also have um, other modeling programs that come with the package. We have 3D Creator, 3D Sculptor, uh, Platform Management, Collaborative Business Innovation, as well as industri Industry uh, Innovation, as well as there's a pretty good chat um, a place where you can actually pose a lot of questions to the community. Uh, and so it comes with a lot more than just SolidWorks. Though, for me, that's all I'm really interested in. There are a lot more tools on here that you can mess around with uh, and use for various reasons. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind as well. I, I honestly think that this is a really powerful, 3D experience is really powerful uh, if you have use for all the different um, features as well. Also, one other thing I wanna be mentioning, and this is the case for SolidWorks for sure, there will be a watermark on your files to make sure that you're not trying to go and manufacture something or send something off to another country to, to make molds or anything. Any file that is exported and saved will have a watermark which will prevent manufacturers from using them. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, Fusion 360, I'm not quite sure, but I'm assuming has a similar process, uh, similar setup uh, just to avoid people abusing the system. All right, so final thoughts. Why would you want SolidWorks over Fusion 360? And why would you want Fusion 360 over SolidWorks? I think this is a great question, I really do. Uh, and I don't think one is really good and one's really bad, I really don't. If you are a hobbyist in the purest form and you just want to learn the 3D model and get into things, I would still go with Fusion 360 personally. That is because it is a great entry level program. It's free, which is nice. Um, if you want to be monetizing though, and if you want to be working with a program that's a little bit more of an industry standard, uh, as well as if you're a designer like me and you want to keep up with SolidWorks, I think that's, that's reason enough um, for SolidWorks, then you, you should look into doing the SolidWorks uh, 
path just because it is a industry standard. It is something really good to be up to date with. Uh, and 100 bucks a year is not bad, and especially if you're able to monetize off of that. That's such a great, great option. And in all reality, you can have both programs for 100 bucks a year. Uh, and so if you want to be just modeling for the heck of modeling, you're Fusion 360. If you want to be monetizing on something, you have SolidWorks, and it's never a problem to learn more than one program. But if you're just getting into 3D modeling, just wanting to learn, I think Fusion 360 is a great option for you. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Again, thank you, Mark Dalton, for this wonderful, wonderful question. And I've had a good time making this video. If you have any questions or comments, I'm sure there's things that I've missed in this comparison, as well as I'm sure there's some things that I probably got wrong. I'd love to hear the corrections, and I'd love to hear any comments or questions in the comment section down below. So as always, keep modeling, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.